Hi, my name is Nicole Lee. Now we have come to this integrated reliability assessment. Let's take a look. This is a, a example of the codes and the teams found by the integrators together with the with the researchers. So we are going to another phase, which is we have to assess the integrator reliability. So we have to record whether rater one have actually see emotion in the context, in the context, or in the transcription. If they say yes, then we just put one. They have actually spotted this emotion in the context. So rater two, whether they, she see it, whether it's a emotion. If she didn't see it, that is put a zero. This is rater one will go through the codes whether. He has seen the quotes happen or present in the context or in the con in the transcripts, then they put one. If they haven't seen any, they just put zero. So as you can see, after you complete the whole uh, record, if later one see and later two didn't see, it happens. So this is considered disagreement. If both also see, there is agreement. This is this agreement. This is um, agreement. If this is a one zero one or one zero, that is a one zero or zero one, that is disagreement. But is the fourth zero is considered agreement because both also didn't see. Let's calculate the agreements with an SPSS. So what you have to do is you have to highlight the quotes without the label. All right, highlight emotion and the um, up to the the records, the last record. So the quotes and the value up to here only. Right click and copy. Right click and copy, and uh, we are good to move on to the SPSS copy and uh, let me launch my SPSS statistic when we come to the software first is data entry so it's still launching so for the SPSS we have variable view and data view so let's go to the data view. All right, close. All right, the output you don't need it yet. You can close. Don't save the output. All right, and we are here. So we have data view and variable view. What we copy was data just now. So on the first column and first cell, we paste we paste that command V or control V. All right, these are the data we copy from our Excel. So always do a record, please save as um, inter rater reliability as right. You can save it. I'll just save on my desktop. <clears throat> the output you can close it no not saving output so now we actually put in the data let's define our variables all right as you see the first the first row is quotes so we will just name it double click on it and name it as uh, quotes all right and it's a type of string it's okay. The second row is uh, from Raider 1 and Raider 2. This is a Raider 1. Uh, without the space, Raider 2. Without the space in between the, 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 the uh, declaration of the variable. So this is a numeric, correct? Because 1 and 0. So the width, the decimal, the width can, we can just leave it. But for the decimal, I would prefer you put 0 and 0. 
so that on the data view here, you can just say C1 and 0 instead of seeing decimal point. So the value, you can actually label the same thing, quotes, and a rate 1 and a rate 2. All right, and the values here I need you to define. Click on the three dots. One for yes, zero for no. Yes means that you, the reader has spotted the quotes in the transcript. No means zero. No means the reader did not see the quotes in the transcription. Click OK. So you can actually just. Click on this and hit Ctrl C, and this one is the same thing. Hit Ctrl V. All right. So the same, you have the same value. Zero is no, one is yes. Then you are good. All right. Basically, you have a finished declaring with variables in the variable view. So let's get back. This is how it looks. So you have uh, given this variables is a quote with a categorical variable, and the first row of data is the, 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 the result from rater 1 and the result from rater 2. We are done. Please save again and we are good to analyze. So a point saving, same thing, the output you don't need to save it because nothing yet. So let's go to analyze, descriptive statistics and cross tab. Cross tab. Analyze, descriptive statistics, cross tab. And you come across this cross tab dialog box. So please make sure you put radar one to rows, radar two, click the arrow button to the columns. So here over here, you just need to set for statistic and cell. Let's click on statistic tab. All right. So statistic, please make sure you click kappa. We are running for kappa. And click continue. Only kappa is checked. And for the cell, let's take a look, make sure you observe and round cell counts and continue. And you are good to run the result. And click OK. So here on the SPSS output, it gives you the summary that run 16 scores. And this is a cross tabulation. So between rater 1 and rater 2. So if both also see no, that particular quotes did not exist and present it in the, on the transcript, both also didn't see anything. We have both no agreement. If the rater say yes and the rater say no, Say yes and no means that it's a disagreement. So when rater two say no, rater one say yes, that's a disagreement. And rater two say yes, rater one say yes, this is agreement. So from this chart, it's very easy to see. This is agreement, no, no. And this is yes, yes, agreement. And this is yes, no, disagreement. And no, yes, disagreement. So you can see. In total, there is a 14 agreements and two disagreements. And the SPSS will run the probability of agreement and disagreement. So here it shows the value is 0.42. So if you see the interpretation of the Kappa statistic, this is a slight agreement. All right. So this is, this is not ideal. Uh, I would say the um, is less credible. In this case, less reliable. So let's close it. Save content. No. So let's say you have go back to your interrogator and ask them to rechat whether they really see joy. All right. If the reader say yes, okay, I see joy. Okay. So we we'll change it to one. Okay, now we have more agreement, which is 1, 1. All right, save. So let's run the, the um, analysis. So I'll put here, close it, no. And make sure you analyze. 
descriptive cross tab again and um, this is the second time you run the same text I will see there's no changes for your setting on your cell it still remain the same and you click OK so now you can see the kappa value has improved which is 0 0.63 so and here I can conclude your reliability uh, for the integrator has been established so your findings and your codes is more reliable according to the interpretation of the kappa so look at the interpretation 0 0.61 to 0 0.8 indicates subtle substantial agreement this is better than just now we fall under moderate agreements then we can conclude that the inter Rater reliability is established. With this output, you can save this output for reference. Output. That's all for the lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking my icon at the right bottom corner and give it a thumb up. Alright, see ya!